First and foremost, we've now increased our compatibility to now be compatible with Blender 3.0, which basically is almost the same as Blender 2.93 at this time. However, it is a little bit less stable than we're generally used to, so do keep in mind that and use it with caution. So first thing I'm going to do is jump into my preferences and under add-ons, we're just going to install these add-ons. So first we'll just knock box cutter out, which is now compatible with 3.0 as a version 718 underscore five. And then hard ops 987 underscore nine is also now compatible with Blender 3.0. So now that we have that set up, let's go under our navigation and turn off auto perspective and under system we want to choose about 30 recent files lower our auto save timer and maybe enable CUDA for some cycles action we can save our preferences and with the cube select I'll press Control I to delete everything that is not the cube and then I could press Alt V while locked in at this angle and just set it to EVHQ in the Alt V sub menu and for me, I like to start up Blender with box cutter already enabled, so we'll just save user preferences. And with that, we're now ready to rock and roll. So we can just get in quickly, just click and drag to begin box cutting without any further delay. And that's really as good as it gets. And then of course we could press Q, go into hard ops, start adding bevels, weighted normal, Alt M for blank material, Alt V V to begin looking through various look dev environments, reselecting the object and control clicking blank material just so we could scroll through endless combinations of potential materials that we could be slapping on this object. And just like that, we now have Blender and Box Cutter installed and set up for Blender 3.0.